Continuing on to part two of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, we now come to an event that's not talked about much, and that is that Jesus was more than likely crucified naked. What we see in the pictures and the videos and such with the loincloth or for our comfort and not necessarily historical realities. It's pretty well established that Romans crucified people naked to bring the greatest possible shame. In fact, I've included those references in the outline in the description. If you'd like that, just click that. No email needed, just click it and it's yours. I just want to get the resources into your hands. So this wasn't new and was practiced throughout history. The focus of the groin to cause pain among a torturing process was practiced by the Syrians and practiced by other civilizations, practiced by the Romans. And yeah, it was just part of the culture. And sorry guys, if you are watching this, sorry the question then becomes about what about the women at the cross would they have been at the cross if jesus was naked well most of the women were watching from a distance what detail that most leave out is that mary and the others were among those watching from a distance we see this in matthew and we see this in mark the only difference is and the only challenge is we come to john and he said near the cross of jesus stood his mother his mother's sister mary and the wife clopas and mary magdalene these women that the other gospels say were among the women standing at a distance but john says they were near and when jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby he said to her woman here's your son well we have to understand that near is a relative term but we know that of the women mary was close enough that jesus spoke to her and his disciple john now this isn't too big of a surprise because being his mother and raising him and John, a man and disciple, it may have been more appropriate that they were near enough to talk with Jesus. We don't see other women talking to Jesus, which may mean they were among the other women, which was a distance away, but still near compared to the rest of the townspeople. Now, some have said since Jesus was Jewish, the Romans would have wanted to treat Jesus differently and have covered him to respect the Jews. Well, I'm not sure of that because the Romans who crucified Jesus hated the Jews. In fact, Josephus in the 70s spoke of mass crucifixions that were motivated out of the wrath and hatred they bore the Jews. This was not a new thing in AD 70. This had been going on for centuries. There was definite hatred between the Jews and Romans. But more than that, the Jewish leaders hated Jesus as well. They rejected him as not one of their own. So I would have to say, first of all, there was little reason to give Jesus special privileges considering he was hated by both Romans and Jews. Secondly, crucifying naked was standard shaming practice for the Romans. In fact, Michelangelo even made a statue of this of the naked Jesus. And third, the point of the cross was maximum suffering and humiliation. They weren't trying to go easy, they were trying to intensify and maximize humiliation as much as possible. And four, even Jews at times punished criminals naked, so it wouldn't have been out of the ordinary. You can see that reference in the outline. And number five, mockery and blows in the groin were common focal points in making criminals suffer. And that has happened throughout history. Here's the significance. Jesus knew sexual abuse. He knew what it was to be mocked, violated, humiliated, and abused. Jesus understands.